So what's it like being on the drama and what do you think you're bringing to the table? Um, I feel like I, uh, I feel like I'm, I've not ever felt like super important with like music wise because you know, I'm, I'm always like a hand percussion guy. People don't really pay attention to the hand percussion guy. Now that I'm actually playing on a kit. Yeah, you have an instrument. Stuff, I feel more important about that. I'm not saying like that hand percussion is not important because they're extremely important. But now I have a better view of like what I'm doing and how important a hand percussion is actually is. So yeah. Very cool. I would say I definitely bring to the table a good level of uh, better hand percussions. No, I'm kidding. I, uh, <laughs> I think that I might bring a certain sense of um, focus. Um, I definitely feel like I'm trying to take this very seriously, so I'm hoping that an example to some of the people goofing off sometimes have to um, really bring in, in like a, a hardworking or focused sense of uh, responsibility. And then uh, I think that music-wise, I definitely have been behind the scenes a good bit and me and him have made a good team of um, yeah. drummers so I feel like we split the responsibility yeah. pretty well. Um, but yeah, I think that we I think that we really we're we're really the drive of the organization mm -hmm. and I feel yeah. like we we got the soul of it down. So yeah. Very cool. Thank you guys. Come on, let's go find out what this whole drama's about. like being in the drama and what what's the meaning of this George Mueller play? So I mean from my standpoint I, I think the meaning of it is kind of to teach us to trust in God more and that he will always provide for you if you trust him and, have, and do it with a pure heart. It's acknowledging that God is God and we we're not. I can't fix this. I can't fight this. These circumstances of life they're beyond my control. I can't fix this. I can't fight this. It's an enemy I can't see except for the effects of this brutality. For both of you, um, you guys have, um, what, what's your parts in the play? Give me a little detail about that. I'm Reed, you wanna? Um, so I'm more of like a stagehand. I kind of just help set mm -hmm. scenes up. I have a couple lines, but very, this guy's very big cool. stuff over here. Okay, well, Nayan, tell us. Um, so I have a couple lines during the tavern scene, okay. and then I play Dr. Jones. So in the tavern scene, what's that whole thing about? Like, what's the whole ordeal with that? It's basically to show that George was a scoundrel before he found God. Yeah. Gotcha, okay, cool, and thank just you. just kind of introduce the character yeah. and show kind of his life before Christ. Very cool, thank you guys. So, um, Ty and Brayden, what are your roles in the play? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll go first, but I don't have to ask that. Okay. So, are we still going? Just <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're okay. going. My role in the play is um, I am the dean of the college, which, I mean, most of y'all know, should know what a dean is, hopefully, but it's just the head of the college. Um, and so I um, play a pivotal role in George's life. I offer him a job um, so he can make money and further promote his um, gospel cool. projects. So. Very cool. What about you, Ty? I do nothing. I, I <laughs> sing sometimes. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. So, what is this play overall like? What is the meaning? Like, there, there's a there's a big meaning behind it. But what is the meaning to you, um, in this play? Probably that God changes lives, and you know, um, George Mueller did that through children, and now you know he took care of them, and they, nobody knew him. So, very cool. Very cool. So, what do you if you had a, so if, hopefully there's going to be a big group of people coming to this to watch this. What do you want them to see from it? Um, I just want them to you know to see that God is good and how He can transform people just like George Mueller, who was a scoundrel but eventually became one of God's best men. So very cool. Thank you guys. What's happening in the play today? Well, I don't really know. You don't know? Are we no. going to be practicing the scenes again? We are probably. What well, scene? No. Well, probably one, and then we just go with four with the
ideas have to be led, have to be followed, have to be understood by a leader or two. A group that could put together, think up, and create something that is for the glory of an all-knowing God. And without this all-knowing God, what's the point? What's the point of making a play? What's the point of being here? What's the point of being great leaders without a God? Okay, Jameson. So, what's it like being the star? Um, it's pretty good. There's a lot of there's a lot of lines to memorize. Yeah. But I really enjoy it. I've I've really enjoyed doing dramas. So uh, I'm yeah. very thankful to have the opportunity. To That's be awesome. Able to do the lead so, role. as the lead character, what do you want to bring to the table, and what do you want people to see from yourself and get from it? Um, I think I like to see people like the the change that happened and in George Mueller's life. Um, it really just goes to show, I mean, kind of like Paul in the Bible, that you don't have to start off as Christian, you know, there, that people can go from total just sinners to, you know, at the, at the tavern, just sinning his life away to just following straight after the Lord. Yeah, that's awesome. I have one more question and then we can call it good. So as a group, um, you're, you're working with a big group here, and what's the role that you're trying to, to play with this this group? What are you trying to lead them probably in? Probably George Mueller. George Mueller? Yeah. Yeah. No, but um, <laughs> uh, I would say probably, I guess, leader? I don't know. I feel like that sounds kind of yeah. useful, but, uh, yeah. but I, I kind of enjoy semi-directing people. Yeah, uh, yeah. So That's a cool dude. I guess. Cool. Thanks, man. Probably dress up and act. Yeah, that's awesome. So sick. What about you? Well, so sick. I like getting um, together and just having a great time with everyone. It's that's awesome. Fun. I like to learn my lines and be able to go and speak, but I also get kind of nervous doing that. Yeah. I like to be with the people. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I like just watching people do their lives, yeah. sometimes messing up, that's kind of funny. Hey, hey, it can be, it can be if you do it right. <laughs> what about you guys in the back? What are you most excited about the drama? Um, screaming. Screaming? Okay, okay, that's a good one. What about you? Um, saying my line. Okay, okay. What about you? I don't know. Um, I'm just excited to see it all come together, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Cool. Thanks, guys. What's the most exciting thing about the play? Getting to reach other people. Stuff okay. The animal wrath. Stuffed animal wrath. That's a good one. Definitely doing a mean girl act. That's the best part of the entire thing. Okay, okay, okay. Just gonna be honest. That's, that's a good one. Okay, yeah, that's a good one too. Let God do it only he can do. Consider the world like a churning sea all around us. Yet because of God, we can be on dry ground. We can be at peace. It's acknowledging that God is God, and we, we're not. I can't fix this. I can't fight this. These circumstances of life, they're beyond my control. I can't fix this. I can't fight this. It's an enemy I can't see except for the effects of his brutality. Death is in the streets and it's in our ears. The bells, they don't stop tolling. All of our senses are assaulted by it. Our business notes are failing. Fear is falling. Fear is falling like the soot from our chimney. But God, he sees our enemy, and he knows what the threat is, and he can stop this. Let us pray that the Lord reveals to us what the problem is and how to eradicate it. In the meantime, let's run to him as our refuge, the fortress of Jacob. We must pray for the souls of those who are falling prey to the pandemic. Remember, the Lord of hosts is with us, and he will fight for us. Let us be still and know that he is God. Hope, faith, peace, compassion. This is the life.
Life and Faith of George Wheeler. How am I supposed to pay for these? So are you using your books right now? No, no, not right now. I'm paying for all these beverages. Well, then good. You sell your books and you buy the drinks. Easy peasy. Clever George. Well, since he's buying... Hey, barmaid! Barmaid! No. You! You! Barmaid! <laughs> <laughs> Don't let these college kids know, but do you have any water infused with a citrus medley? Yes. I'm feeling a bit of the scurvy, scurvy coming on. Yes. All their needs, Lord, let them know that their hearts can trust in you. <laughs> Behind the scenes? Yes, no. tell me a life secret. Uh, behind the scenes, my name is Lane Carpenter. I will awe you with my skills in this play. Okay, wow. So, um, what are you going to show me in this play of your skills? I'm going to show And this is my boy Zeke. What's up? What's up? Now, back to what we were saying. What are you going to tell and, and the worst thing about Zeke is he's already got a lady. So, ladies out there, Zeke's already taken. <laughs> Hey, this man's single though. He lady, is. Oh, yeah. single and ready to mingle. <laughs> this is true. The ladies, the ladies love ladies. Maybe more ladies. You never know. All the ladies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me leave it at that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a dying chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the camera about today. Well, it turns out that Jackson's taller than me. He's about an inch, two centimeters taller than me, I'd say. What are we? Two point five four centimeters is equal to one inch, so that's about how tall, much taller he is. Wow, we got really into. He stole my hat. Yes, he did. So. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> tell, tell the camera. She's alive. We were in C9 and we went back to C8. So, yeah, I am now alive. Right? Right? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.